As for the transmission, the first option can be combined with either a manual transmission or a CVT. The second option provides only a six-speed robot, but suffers from jerks when switching. If we talk about different things, both naturally aspirated engines have a cast iron block, which makes them reliable and durable. Nothing similar can be said about the variator and the robot. In terms of equipment, the only drawback may be the lack of back heating. Some drivers also don't like the seating position in the car. The suspension is quite stiff, which allows the car to handle well, but at the same time it quickly wears out the stabilizer bars. Weak points include the body coating, which is quite soft, and mediocre corrosion resistance. In winter, the tailgate gas struts may freeze, and there may also be a problem with the dull touch screen through which many functions are activated. Sometimes problems arise with heating failure. Besides, there are no other massive problems. Bottom line, if the manual transmission version is not suitable, it is better to look for something else.